This is part one of a tutorial on how to use the BorgWarner MatchBot tool, which is a uh, interactive web-based turbo matching program. The uh, first step in MatchBot is to enter the uh, engine input parameters. So for example, um, single turbo configuration uh, that can be selected as single or twin turbo. Uh, engine displacement in liters. It gives you a cubic inch conversion uh, there for easy reference. Uh, ambient air temperature, so say for example 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the altitude is also put in uh, of, your, of your area. So for example this says 500 feet above sea level. Uh, it gives you the barometric pressure uh, equivalent of standard, uh, standard conditions at that altitude. So for example we uh, change this um, to, uh, to something else like 2000 then uh, the barometric pressure uh, goes down uh, considerably. Um, there are six uh, input conditions um, to give you six match points so they're labeled one through six in terms of uh, the required inputs. Um, engine speed for each of the six points is of course uh, required. Uh, volumetric efficiency. Um, realizing that this is often a guess unless you happen to have some dyno data on your engine. Uh, by the way there's some uh, pop-up help um, uh, topics on uh, each of these things. So you can roll your cursor over this uh, question mark and it gives you uh, some help for what to use. For example, volumetric efficiency gives you some tips on what to use for diesel engines, um, you know, uh, gas engines, low speed, high speed, that sort of thing. Uh, the next line item is uh, boost pressure in PSI, uh, intercooler effectiveness. This is typically very effective at uh, low engine speeds just because the flow through the intercooler is pretty low. So there's a lot of resonance uh, time for the air in the cooler to get cooled down. Then as you go up in flow, this generally decreases in effectiveness. So numbers uh, ranging from uh, high 90s uh, at low RPMs up to low 90s or sometimes even uh, in the 80s at, at high RPM um, is typical. Intercooler pressure drop. Um, this is often a small number you can see here. This is 0.2 psi at low engine speeds, 0.6 psi at high engine speeds. This could be as high as uh, 1 psi, but that would be a very uh, restrictive um, uh, intercooler pressure drop. I'm sorry, 1 psi isn't all that high. I was thinking of air uh, filter restriction. 1 psi would be very high for air filter restriction. As you can see here, peak restriction is uh, 0.2 in this example. Intercooler pressure drop, this peaks out at 0.6, which is actually a pretty low restriction system. Uh, you can get 1 psi, uh, 1.5 psi, for example, of pressure drop um, at the rated power condition going through all the plumbing as well as the intercooler. Uh, muffler system back pressure. Um, you can see here that uh, 2 psi has been selected as the peak restriction. Um, this would be indicative of a pretty large uh, plumbing system, maybe like a 3 inch uh, plumb with uh, a free flowing muffler. Uh, OE systems, you know, factory mufflers and small pipes, this can be as high as, uh, you know, 6 to 7 psi at rated power, especially with a, a restrictive uh, after treatment system, catalyst system. Compressor efficiencies, um, I would leave these as the default conditions uh, to start with. Um, also turbine efficiencies, leave these alone. Uh, you can come back and refine these later uh, after you see the points plotted on the maps. Uh, you, can, you can adjust these numbers, but these are really good starting points. For, uh, for points that straddle a map uh, pretty fully from, from left to right. Exhaust gas temperatures, um, 1650 you can see here at full load, that's pretty typical uh, for a gasoline engine that's running um, on the rich side. Uh, at the low RPM, something less, you can see your 1550 
at 2,000 RPM, 1,600 at 3,000 RPM. Uh, that's because when you first uh, whack the throttle at uh, low engine RPMs, not everything is heated up yet. It takes a while for things to uh, to soak and actually reach the full exhaust gas temperatures, a few seconds anyways. So uh, it's very typical to see um, lower exhaust gas temperatures at these low engine speeds, unless you're you know lugging the engine for a long period of time, going up a hill or perhaps towing something, then uh, maybe you can achieve um, high exhaust gas temperatures uh, at the bottom of the speed range. Uh, I'm going to hold off on this uh, turbine expansion ratio adjustment uh, here. I'll explain that in a moment uh, when we look at the turbine map. Um, let me first show the, uh, the output screens. You can see that each of these uh, bars uh, can be expanded or collapsed. So what I did just then was I clicked on the calculated outputs bar which uh, expands that section. This gives all of the text-based uh, outputs of the match. Um, for example, uh, the calculated compressor pressure ratio based on the boost that's being run at each point, uh, comp outlet, intake manifold air uh, temp, so that takes into account the intercooling effectiveness, uh, intake manifold density and density ratio, and then uh, the airflow rates in many different uh, terms, um, pounds per minute not corrected, CFM not corrected. Uh, then the corrected terms, these would be the terms that get plotted onto uh, compressor maps, pounds per minute, kilograms per second, kilograms per hour, and uh, meters cubed uh, per second. Uh, 1 over BSAC um, is kind of the air equivalent of uh, BSFC fuel consumption type term. Um, 1 over BSAC indicates how much air uh, is required at that specific condition to make um, a unit of power. Uh, so for example this 12 here uh, means that there is um, uh, it's, it's, difficult, it's difficult to explain because it's the reciprocal of brake specific air consumption it's in uh, pounds per minute, so it's uh, 12 pounds per minute um, per horsepower. No, I didn't say that right. Anyways, you probably get the point. Um, turbo shaft power, uh, this is interesting because it uh, shows the power required um, to do the compressor task. In other words, this is the power um, that is being given from the turbine uh, to the compressor to do the boosting. Uh, this does not include um, the energy that's being wastegated. Um, engine power, um, this is only as accurate as um, the things like BSFC um, entry units and uh, air fuel ratio. Up here you can see the BSFC curve goes from 0.43 uh, to 0.55 air fuel ratio um, 11, 11 and a half uh, flat. Um, so if those inputs are good, um, the engine power requirement, I'm sorry, the engine power output um, will be given as a good estimate. If those things are off, then these numbers uh, will also be off. The good news is um, the compressor map plotting will still be accurate because at the end of the day, um, the only thing that matters for compressor map plotting is um, boost pressure, RPM, displacement, volumetric efficiency, and uh, how much intercooling is being done. Okay, I'm going to save everything else for the next segment so that this is broken up into uh, a few tutorial pieces.